Let's continue this mega edition of a Football Friday playoff game preview locked on Titans episode. We're going to dive right back in. I just did my keys to victory for the Titans defense. Now I want to talk about the keys to victory for the Titans offense. Before we get into that, I want to thank you guys again for making the Locked On Titans podcast your first listen every day. Make sure you subscribe on whatever platform you do stream. You can find the Locked On Titans podcast on all platforms and all ways free. But diving in here, my big theme, my big thing theme for the Titans offense, run, run, run. The Titans have to pummel the Bengals defense in the run game. That has to be the plan. Yes, the Cincinnati Bengals had the fifth best rushing defense in the NFL, only allowing 102.5 rushing yards per game. But you look a little deeper and they allow 4.3 yards per carry, which was only 17th in the NFL. Here's the reality. The Bengals with that explosive offense, they get up on people early. So teams don't run as much against the Bengals as they normally do with a normal game plan. And that makes absolute sense. And the Titans can't allow that to happen to them either. They have to stick to the run. They have to handle their business in the run game. That is the foundation of which the Titans offense is based on. So they have to handle that business. With Derrick Henry back in the backfield, that's obviously going to be a key, but I think you need to accentuate that even more. The Titans need to rush for about 150, 200 yards in this game because it's not just about having a successful and efficient offense. It's about keeping that Bengals offense off the field. So time of possession, holding the ball. Remember, this game plan needs to mirror the game plans that the Titans have used against the Chiefs, against the Bills. That has to be the formula in this game. And when you're talking about running the ball, the Titans need to play this game in a phone booth. Play 12 personnel with two tight ends on the field. Play 22 personnel with a fullback and two tight ends on the field. Play 13 personnel. That's three tight ends on the field. We want Cincinnati's base defense on the field all the time is what the Titans coaching staff has to be saying to itself. You don't want the Bengals in their nickel package where, like the Titans, they do pretty well in their nickel package, and that's what they want to be in. Mike Hilton is a very physical slot cornerback. He can do the job, but if the Titans go so heavy, this is like the Patriots when we talked about the Patriots game. I said that the Titans wanted to get the Patriots out of their dime and out of their nickel packages, which is what they like to be in on defense, and get them in their heavy base personnel because that's not as talented of a group. And the Bengals are experiencing some injuries on the defensive line right now, especially at defensive tackle. Mike Daniels is probably going to be out of this game. Larry Joby, we already know, is going to be out of this game. Josh Tupo is going to play in this game, but he was banged up throughout the week. Now, the Bengals do have a very, very good nose tackle and a very, very good run stuffer. Maybe the best run stuffer in the NFL in DJ Reader, but he's only one man. He's only one man. So the Titans want to get the Bengals' base defense out on the field. They don't have a lot of bodies to rotate in. You have the ability to wear them down. You have the ability to just have success. So play in heavy personnel throughout the entire game. The Titans actually ran the second most amount of 13 personnel in the NFL this year. It was only 9%, but that's still second tied for second most in the NFL. The Titans have to find a way to get into those big-time heavy sets on offense and get the Bengals in their base defense so they can pummel them and take advantage of the depth issues on the defensive line, especially on the interior defensive line. Also, the Titans have to play well in red zone offense. You cannot have field goals against this Cincinnati Bengals offense. You simply cannot do that. So the Titans' plan has to be to run the ball, get down the field, but when they do get in the red zone, they have to find a way to take advantage. Now, I know that I'm not going to get any pushback from you guys when I say this, but the Titans simply cannot put this game in Randy Bullock's hands. And the Titans' offense was the fifth best red zone offense in the NFL this season. I know it's crazy to think about with all the injuries and all the upheaval on offense, but yes, the Tennessee Titans did finish fifth in red zone offense percentage. So the Titans are converting very well in the red zone. They've really gotten on a roll from that standpoint here in recent weeks. So it's going to be very important for the Titans to handle their business in that category. And when you look at the Cincinnati Bengals defense in the red zone, 
They're only 14th. They're allowing a touchdown on 60.4% of their red zone chances as a defense. So there is an area of opportunity for the Titans there to make sure that they get touchdowns when they are in the red zone. It will be key. I don't want to see Randy Bullock for anything other than extra points in this game. Also, my final thing here is the Titans have to hit some shots. Whereas on defense, the Titans have to avoid giving up big plays and explosive plays to the Bengals' offense. They have to, on offense, have some of those explosive plays. Derrick Henry is back. Derrick Henry went for a 70-yard touchdown against the Buffalo Bills and changed that game when the Titans were down. That's the type of thing that the Titans are going to need. A.J. Brown going for a 55-yard touchdown against the Indianapolis Colts when everything looks as bleak as possible in Week 8. That's what the Titans have to have. They have to have a couple of those big plays, and one guy who I think really has to make them is Julio Jones. But we'll talk about that more when we get into individual players and individual matchups. But just to recap here, the Titans game plan has to be run, 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 not only to be efficient on offense, but also time of possession reasons. They need to run the ball out of heavy personnel, 13, 12, 22. They have to be efficient in the red zone and make sure they take advantage of an area where they have beaten the Cincinnati Bengals in terms of the percentages there. And they got to find a way to get some explosive plays themselves so they can keep pace with this Bengals offense. Those are my big picture keys to victory for the Tennessee Titans offense. 